There are two types of self-doubt. The one that creeps up on you when you're about to take a step towards the goal that you want, right? And then we have the second one, and this one is crippling. It's the one that makes you feel like you can never amount to anything. The one that makes you feel like, what is the point of trying? You cannot be good at anything. This is the type of self-doubt that I'm going to help you overcome by giving you the techniques that you can use or apply in your life. But before I get to those techniques, let me first introduce myself to my newcomers and say, welcome, my name is Ola Rams, the founder of Dreamers Elevation Network, where we teach you how to use your skills and your passion and turn that into a profitable business. And we'll be doing so by using self-development, entrepreneurship and psychology knowledge to help you do that. For my lovely people, who I love the most. I say welcome. Let us enjoy today's topic and do tell me what you have learned and how this topic is helping you in the comments. The first thing that needs to happen before we can actually talk about how we can overcome the self-doubt, we need to first understand where does it come from. And to understand that, you need to know that self-doubt starts at childhood that it is a result of bad childhood experiences such as criticism constantly being compared to other people or just the fear of failure when you have all these experiences it breaks you in terms of making you lose your confidence and your self-esteem so when you have low self-esteem and low confidence it is hardly that you might start working hard towards a goal or towards the dreams that you have because you feel like, what is the point? You're just wasting your time because nothing is ever going to change, right? That leads us to the second point that I talked about when I said, what is the point of trying? Because now it is how you think. Those experiences programmed you to think in a negative way about yourself. A definition from Harvard Health about cognitive distortion is they are internal mental filters or biases that increases our misery, fuels our anxiety, and make us feel bad about ourselves. So basically, those negative thoughts, they make you feel bad about yourself. They make you feel like we can never amount to anything. And the types of these distortions are overgeneralizing. If at all you fail at something and then you generalize this to all these areas of your life, you are experiencing cognitive distortion because this is so far from reality. It's not true because how can you losing from one part of your life be used to conclude that indeed you can never be good at anything because you failed at that thing? This means that it is something that is distorted, a distorted reality. The second thing that people who have this type of self that usually do is catastrophizing everything. If at all they go to a job interview, they are always waiting for the worst. This means that they always look for the worst or expect the worst in every single situation. Now, let us talk about how can we deal with this because it's really important that when you're dealing with this type of self-doubt, you need to first tackle how this person thinks or tackle how you think because that is the only way you can be able to change your life. The first thing that you need to do is meditation. When you are a believer, you need to listen to someone that speaks to that self-doubt that you have. This is because you'll be able to understand and hear what God has to say about you. Understand that God is saying that the goals or the dreams that he has put in your heart, they are possible because there's no how he can put those things in your heart if they were not possible. To know that God is saying that you were made in his image and that nothing is impossible if he's by your side. This means that even the stuff that you can overcome it, even the things that you want, you can achieve them. All the negative things that people kept telling you about yourself your whole life, 
they are wrong because only God has the right to tell you who you are and what you can do and cannot do because he is your father. So listen to the sermons. After that, meditate on the word and pray about it. If you are a non-believer, use motivations, podcast to listen to other people who are who are also experiencing the same thing. This is going to help you understand that you are not the only one, that you are not a bad person, that you can overcome this too. This will give you these two things will give you faith to believe in yourself and to believe that indeed you can overcome this self-doubt and actually achieve what you want. The fourth one is journaling. Under journaling, write every single negative thing that comes to your mind down. After writing it all, make sure that you turn those negative things into positive. As I said, we are working with your mind because there's nothing that can harm you more than your mind. Nothing is more dangerous than what happens in here. So we need to monitor it. So make sure you do it by writing all the negative things and then turn them into positives. After that, you say those positives to yourself really loud every single day so that you can start believing them. I keep emphasizing that um, Bob Proctor said, the things that you start visualizing when you start talking about all the time, they will turn to reality because you are changing your subconscious mind to think in a different way. If you have come this far with me, it means you love what I'm talking about. Give this video a like, subscribe, it really helps. It gives me feedback and press that bell button to get notified whenever I'm posting a new video. The fifth one is build resistance. There was a part um, where I talked about the types of cognitive distortion. And I said that one of the types of cognitive distortion is overgeneralizing, whereby you feel like one failure in one area of your life represents failures in every single part of your life, right? So by building resistance, you'll be doing that by changing how you see failure. You'll be doing this by changing the way you think about the challenges that you face. This is when you start looking at challenges and failures as a learning curve or a stepping stones towards your success. Because everyone or even successful people fail. And the more they fail, the more they're able to succeed at the things that they want. Because now they are learning new skills through those failures. So you need to change how you see the failures that you experience to grow as a person the last one is if you have tried what i just said to you and you feel like it's still not working you're still feeling this even more i suggest you seek professional help go to therapy people have put a negative connotation to therapy that you have mental illness or something like that a simple thing is experiencing this type of crippling self-doubt is enough for you to go to therapy. When you go to therapy, the therapist might use something called the CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. It is used to change your thought processes so that you can stop thinking negatively about yourself and start thinking positively. This will also help you in terms of the coping mechanisms that you'll be engaging in. That's because at times you find out that when you fail, you start feeling bad about yourself, start feeling worse about yourself, you start overeating, um, or you, you just harm yourself. So it will teach you how you can go about it when you're experiencing these negative thoughts on a daily basis. So seek professional help. It does not mean that you are mad or anything. Go to help, sorry, go to therapy and deal with it so that you can open up your life again, so that you can live the life of your dreams. One last thing. If at all you are also experiencing self-doubt but it's not as crippling, you can also use these tips that I just gave you. Meditation, journaling, um, building resistance. You can also use this that are really applicable. Yes, that is what I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It really helps. And press that bell button to get notified when I'm posting a new video. So yes, I'll see you on the next one.